Welcome back, everybody, to another Divi Project Update for October 14th, 2022. Hope you guys are having a great Friday because it's the weekend. What do you guys got planned? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, let's go over the news. What's going on today? We had the Divi Twitter spaces. Yes, that was pretty fun to be a part of. I didn't chime in. I was just a listener today. Put in a lot of hearts, applauded, and 100 emojis out there. But yeah, the recap from the spaces was we talked about thoughts on Solana. How do you feel about it? Like, what do you think about their blockchain? Like, they identified as decentralized, but we know they are centralized. So yeah, we talked about that. We also stood on where the community stands with DeFi. Like, how comfortable are you? Like, some people just know what they're doing. Some people are scared. It's like, uh, we're not coders. Like, how do we get by on that? Like, we just agree to something to a code in one of our smart contracts. And it's like, ugh. So yeah, so some people are scared. Some people just use it. But again, be wise and always educate yourself. See, really dive deep into research. And that's the best thing you can do. Just do your research. Really dive into it. Uh, we also got a date on the La Liga game with the Divi team. That's taking place October 18th. So that's when... Nick Sapinera is going to be in the box with the Divi Wallet team. We we'll also have Girls Gone Crypto. And there are two tickets available for the match. So if you are in the era or really willing to uh, make a make the trip, make the payments <laughs> to get to Madrid, there is two tickets available technically for like four people. So you and a partner, they're looking for people to mostly in the area to go. Definitely a... Divi fan, like here's the tweet from them. If you live in the Madrid or close by and would like to attend La Liga match on October 18th with the team, please reply to this post. <laughs> and then we had the comments down there from the community. Ryan, our Rick loves crypto, was like me and Bird44 live close to each other. We can take a flight together. <laughs> check, and he was like, check those prices and get back to me. <laughs> oh, is there more to that? <laughs> uh, hoping the Divi wallet would pay our way. <laughs> it's like, nope. I was like the same way. David Scott was like, is California close enough? I was like, they got two tickets, brother. You and me, let's go. And he's like, my schedule won't permit this year, buddy, but I really would love to see you go. And I was like, I wish, but I just saw the price of a ticket from Cali to Spain. Too dang high. <laughs> so yeah. So if you guys are in the area of Madrid and like you want to go hang out with Nick Sapinero, Girls Gone Crypto, the Divi Wall team, the La Liga guys, and the Skybox, uh, let them know because they got two tickets available. Again, I really wish I could have gone, but nah. <laughs> so yeah, that was very exciting. Uh, we also talked about memes were mentioned about like during the bear market, it's like memes are, they're good for the community. They keep everyone in spirit. Turbo Turtle popped in on that. He kind of took on the role of getting into the meme side. He said, the total inflation I care about is inflating the number of my Divi wallet. So yeah, he's creating like memes for Divi as well as just like outside. Like he want to take on this role. Like, and it's like, it's awesome. Thank, thank you, brother. Like this is amazing that you do this. But it's like how I made my fun one. Uh, which one was it? Like uh, of the People magazine. Oh, did someone put some more memes in there? Uh, Captain Nemo passed me because <laughs> which one was it? Oh, whoa. Duh. Where did all these come from? These are new. Oh, wait, no, these are old. Got to scroll all the way to the bottom. There we go. So there's my People Magazine one. So I said, make, make a meme. It's funny. We, we really do like it. And then let's see, was there anything else? They Ryan talked about uh, crypto taxes. He wanted to know what people use. Do they do it themselves? How do they feel about crypto taxes and whatnot? So and that was basically the recap of the Divi community spaces. So it was great. They're going to be back next Friday, as always, at 11 a.m. And yeah, maybe we'll get some more news on. Wait, looking at my dates right now. Looking at my dates because it's this weekend. Yes, yeah, so this Friday we can get more updates on the La Liga and Divi matchup. So it's going to be fun. We'll probably talk about it next spaces. Maybe we'll have someone from the team. You never know who pops in. So, yes, yeah, so we set your reminder and keep an eye out for those spaces. All right, what else is going on? Uh, do, do Oh, yeah, somebody texted me in my last video about like wanting a link to this. That's why I put it on Twitter for those wanting to know the price of to run a Masternode or Staking Vault Divi Wallet. <laughs> hashtag Divi, hashtag wallet, hashtag mattress node and staking. I posted that photo for you guys and I think I put a link in it in the last video, was it? But yeah, so these are the prices. This is what's going on. So if you want to stake or set up a master node, this is what you're dealing with. <laughs>
And then in the Divi Discord channel, I think there was one just question out there. Let's go to it. It was from Boy Hayes. I've been doing a lot of swaps recently, and the feature is great. The only thing I'll mention is it takes quite a while for the funds to be available to send out of the wallet. Is there a way to improve that? Nayis from the admin team was like, the funds will always have to be confirmed. It will take longer or shorter depending on which asset you are converting to, depending on the block time and the number of confirmations required. And yeah, this is how it is. Like I swap all the time using the Divi wallet and it's just like, you just gotta be patient. Once it's through, it's through. It's like, okay, sweet. But that's why I usually like swapping over for Litecoin because it's very fast. When I did the Bitcoin, it was pretty fast as well too. I'm trying to think about Ethereum. I think Ethereum maybe took a little bit longer. But yeah, no, it's just, yeah, it all depends on which blockchain you're using and which coin. So, but yeah, those are normal. I just got to deal with it. <laughs> but that was about it in the Discord. Nothing much else was being talked about. Ryan Berg, please reach out if you want to attend the game. Pictures with Nick, Renew, Girls on Crypto. It's in Madrid, Spain, October 18th. So yeah, more to that contents of them having two tickets. And then let's see, I think Lightning Works, the NFT comic space that was created by Jeffrey McCabe. He was like, or the, people, the Twitter account was like, why do we call ourselves the Marvel of Web3? Well, Lightning Works is a multimedia company that combines interactive comics and Web3 gaming to tell legendary stories through NFTs. Here's how we intend to take the world of Web3 by storm. One, interactive anime and comics. Two, play to earn gaming. Three, IP licensing. Four, comic creator app. And five, esports. So let's go a little bit more in depth in that. Interactive animated comics. Rebring manga style comics to life with ex exemplary art, iconic characters, and stories that will last a lifetime. HTML5 code allows you to interact with our comics just like you would with a website, i.e. motion graphics, video, and Easter eggs. So yeah, it's pretty cool that they're doing that. Then two, we got the play to earn gaming. Lightning Works owns 45% of games interactive and already has a live play to earn game called Siege Rolls that you can download at SiegeRolls.com and begin earning crypto today. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't know about the 45% of games interactive. So <laughs> big things are going to be coming for Lightning Works people. And IP licensing. Lightning Works plans to not only make games interactive comics, but also use its legendary stories and iconic characters to span into a full blown series or movies, figurines, merch, and more. So, <laughs> so that's going to be awesome. We got the creator app, which is coming. Have a great idea, but aren't quite sure how to bring it to life. The Lightning Works creator app makes animation and cinematic effects easy for writers and artists alike to create their own comics and connect with their fans using our platform. And then five, eSports. Show us what you got. Lightning Works offers competitive gaming led by our all-girls eSports team that's currently ranked number two on one of the most popular games, Call of Duty Mobile. So if you're an artist, creator, comic manga lover, gamer, or just an NFT collector, you will love the what Lightning Works has to bring. So make sure you follow us on Twitter, Discord, or the lightningworks.io website. So yes, so uh, all you have to do here, I always have a link down below in the description box. If you want to learn more about it, look at their white paper, check, get, check out the game. Uh, it's all down below. So yeah. And then if you ever want to listen to them talk, they're always in a space. I feel like they're doing one once a day, but like they had one today. Join us with Hayaki NFT, handing out some portal access spots in Divi today. So if you want to get access to these comics, there you go. So yeah, very, very awesome. Keep up the great work, Lightning Works. I cannot wait for that uh, first minting. And I think there is a date coming on the 17th that was discussed. Uh, let's see, where where did I see that? Let's see, we do offer Wawa. Oh, yeah, but everything we talked about, that is what they are going to be, the Marvel Web 3, so really great. And then let's see, where are you? I don't know if they were talking about She-Hulk. Who else did see that? It was, eh, but it did kind of relates to the comics, so I just don't like what they did to Daredevil. <laughs> and let's see, anything? Okay, I thought there was going to be a minting, like, on October 17th announcement, like, so when will you be able to do this? So it's somewhere out there, but yeah, check out Lightning Works if you haven't done so. And lastly, uh, Divi Wallet, what is dollar cost averaging, but investing 101, bear market survival guide, how to survive, we are in a bear market. The definition of a bear market is commonly defined by a prolonged significant drop in an asset or stock price. This is generally when prices fall by 20% or more from their most recent high. Now, what causes a bear market? Factors include an unstable or declining economy, low business profitability across sectors, an increase in negative investor sentiment, declining stock, 
values are globally disruptive events such as the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's not all doom and gloom. On average, bear markets are much shorter than bull markets, and the losses are significantly smaller than the bull market gains. So let's see, here's a chart on the average length of the market. A bear would be 363 days, while the bull is 1,742. The average market movement is in a bear market down 33%, but it could go up 139%. So yeah, our bear market tips from the Divi wallet for the breakdown of our bear market tips. Here it is. Tip number one, perspective is key. Not all bear markets last forever. Two, dollar cost average is your friend because yeah, no matter what, you're just collecting and stacking on. And then Three, take the time to diversify your portfolio and set up your bull market strategy. Exactly. It's like when the time comes when you can really react with your assets, it's like have a strategy to what to do next. And then four, relax. It's it's a long-term game. Exactly. So it's not going to be short-term. Uh, it's a long-term. And also for Millennium Sound, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you for that tip, Divi Wallet. Always appreciate that. And that's about it for the Divi Project News. Price of Divi is at 0.016 cents. We're down 1.70% since yesterday. Market cap's at $51 million. Uh, trading volume is at 173,000. And our current market cap rank is number 350. Here's our day chart. It's been very stagnant. Just that small little dip could make its way back up. Could go down a little bit. You never know. We're still in a bear market. Look around you for all the markets. Like what's going on? Because then that'll give you an idea what's happening. And then total master node numbers out there is 2,075. Very nice. Love seeing that number. I think that's one more from yesterday. And if you haven't downloaded the official regional crypto wallet of La Liga, you can get it at DiviWallet.com. Link's down in the description box. You can get it from the Apple Store or Google Play. So it'll work on any phone. Just always back up your C phrase on a piece of paper, never a digital copy, and you're good to go. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and content. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. And please do leave a comment. I do love hearing from you. So until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.